Welcome to the installation guide for Pulsa Feeder's automatic polymer makedown system. In this video, we will guide you through the proper installation and operation of your system to ensure proper functionality. While installing your unit, please be sure to exercise proper safety precautions as outlined in the installation and operation manual. For more information, please visit Pulsatron.com. Inspect your system for damage which may have occurred during transit. If damage is discovered, immediately file a claim with the carrier and contact your Pulsifeeder distributor for any required replacement parts or components. Find a suitable location for installation of your polymer unit. Polymer makedown systems are to be floor mounted only. Securely attach the skid and the day tank to the floor in a position to prevent falling or tipping. Securely attach the provided 3 quarter inch diameter tubing from the system's made down polymer outlet to the day tank's made down polymer inlet. All unions are loosened prior to shipment to prevent potential shipping damages. Be sure to tighten all unions. Be sure that the neat polymer inlet valve is in the closed position. Connect your neat polymer supply tank to the neat polymer inlet connection. The neat polymer source must be located above the center line of the pump, creating a flooded suction condition. This prevents air pockets in the suction line, which could affect proper operation of the pump. Be sure to connect the 1 inch outlet at the bottom of the day tank to your surf process. The tubing for this is not included with your system. The 1 half inch connection at the bottom of the tank is a drain for your convenience. For the initial electrical connection of the system, be sure that all switches are in the off position before power is connected. This includes the main power switch marked power, the neat polymer feed pump switch marked poly pump, the water inlet solenoid valve switch marked water sol, and the polymer tank mixer switch marked mixer. The control panel and mixer are provided with standard plugs for connection to a 115 volt 20 amp power source to operate. Connect the inlet water supply line to the inlet union as shown. The connection can be oriented to the front or rear of the unit for your convenience. The neat polymer pump must be primed before it can function with the system. Open the discharge bleed valve and the neat polymer inlet valve. Turn the solenoid pump selector switch to the hand position and allow the pump to run until the polymer is visible in the tubing leading from the pump to the system piping. Turn the pump selector switch to the off position. Your pump is now primed. The neat polymer feed pump must be calibrated to properly operate in the system. For your initial calibration, we must ensure that all the air is out of the system to prevent an improper reading. Follow these steps to ensure that all of the air is out of the piping. This process will not be necessary after you have fully primed the system. To calibrate your pump, be sure that the valve at the bottom of the calibration column is closed. Turn the pump selector switch to the hand position and operate the pump until the calibration column is filled. Turn the pump selector switch to the off position. Close the discharge bleed valve. Open the valve at the bottom of the calibration column and close the neat polymer inlet valve. Turn the water solenoid switch to hand to initiate water flow and adjust the water flow rate to the required rate. Turn the pump selector switch to the hand position to run the pump until the calibration column is emptied and turn the pump selector switch back to the off position. Close the valve at the bottom of the calibration column and open the neat polymer inlet valve. Open the bleed valve and turn the pump selector switch to the hand position to refill the calibration column. Turn the pump selector switch to the off position. Your system has now been completely purged of air and is ready for calibration. To calibrate your pump, open the valve at the bottom of the calibration column and close the neat polymer inlet valve. Turn the water solenoid switch to the hand position. Turn the pump selector switch to the hand position and run the pump for exactly 30 seconds and return the switch to the off position. Close the valve at the bottom of the calibration column and open the neat polymer inlet valve. Read the value on the calibration column and check this against your target value. Adjust the pump if necessary and repeat the calibration. When your calibration is complete, turn the water solenoid valve to the off position. To operate your system, 
turn the main power switch to the on position and select the auto position for the water solenoid, the metering pump, and the mixer. You are now ready to operate. The polymer makedown system utilizes a batch process sequence. The makedown process is triggered to start when the high level switch in the storage tank is open and the low level switch changes from closed to open, indicating that the tank level has just dropped below the low level setting. When triggered to start, the controller will energize the water inlet solenoid valve to open, allowing water to flow into the system. This flow is verified by the condition of the flow switch changing from open to a closed contact. At the same time, the neat polymer pump is energized to pump neat polymer into the water flow where it is made down into the polymer solution and stored in the day tank. When the day tank is full and the batch has been completed, the flush process begins. The neat polymer pump will turn off while the solenoid valve remains open for water flow. This water flow will continue for approximately 30 seconds to flush the system of any remaining made down polymer. The water solenoid valve will then close and the system will remain dormant until another batch is required. Thank you for watching the installation guide for the polymer makedown system. If you are in need of additional assistance, please contact your Pulsifeeder representative or visit pulsatron.com.